Hello guys and welcome to Freebird's Crew and in this video I will tell you why your prompts are not giving you the desirable responses why your prompts are failing in chat GPT or any large language models okay why your prompts are not as much as good as you see in the YouTube videos or many other prompt engineering videos I will answer each of the question one by one by explaining the context behind how to optimize your prompts in the prompt engineering okay so the first thing that I will talk about is the context. Okay, so the context in the prompt is very important because every large language model learn or search for your prompt by you using the context. Okay, so uh, let me just give you an example here. So if you ask the chat GPT, what is the best restaurant? So in that way, your chat GPT will have to search for the whole of its database that it is trained on on the restaurant part only and in that way your response that you will get it is either you get the restaurants that is too far away from you or it is not good for you okay so in that way your response is not desirable at that manner but if you ask the chat gpt that what is the best restaurant in delhi punjab in the california okay so in that way your chat gpt will know that its search criteria now will be shortened because it has a where condition. So, okay. So, now it only have to search for that particular country or particular state. Okay. But it does not have to search for all the world data as well. So, in, in that way, that where is the context. Okay. And your chat GPT perf uh, will perform better and give you the most desirable response. Okay. So, in the same way, every large language model that is present on the earth is work on the basis of the context learning and context learning is is the part that shows that how machine uh, how these large language model learn okay so these models learn from the context so let me just uh, give you an another example about the uh, context length we have okay so the context length is actually the part that uh, how long is is your context can be or how long is your prompt can be okay because as you know that the chat gpt the context length is 4096 tokens okay and in the chat gpt 4 we have the context length is 32768 tokens as well if in the easy language i can say it is just the how many words that you can enter in the prompt okay this, this, this is that and the context length is very important for your large language model training as well because your large language model is actually trained on a technique that is called retrieval augmented generation that is called RAG as well okay which has emerged to, to be the prominent pattern for large language model industry use cases RAG work in the two phases the first phase is called indexing and sec second phase is called querying so whenever you train a large language model or give your data of the documents to the large language model it gather all the documents that you gave to the large language model and then it divide those document into the chunks okay and then it can fed to the large language model to generate the embeddings and those embeddings are then stored into the vector database okay if you want to know about what are embeddings what are vector databases as well you can just click on the I button above I already made it a video on that okay okay so now this is a part one gather all the documents divide them and made them into embeddings and then store it to the vector database and the part two comes when you are writing a prompt to find something okay so when you are writing a prompt that prompt again convert into the emb embedding that we call as query embedding and that query embedding goes to the vector database and find the most similar kind of thing to that query embedding it is as similar as you can find the euclidean distance cosine sim sim similarity jacquard distance so okay so in that way it has to like find the most similar thing according to your query embedding and all the document embedding that it has in the its database okay so in that way it will gen generate the response for you okay so now uh, as I already told you, the context length of uh, chat GPT is 4096 tokens or 4096 words that you can enter in the chat GPT. 
बट द लॉन्गर द कॉन्टेक्स लेंथ द मोर चंक्स और द मोर मोर काइंड ऑफ एम्बेडिंग दैट इट हैज टू स्क्वीज इन टू द कॉन्टेक्सट ओके एंड द मोर इंफॉर्मेशन इट हैज टू एक्सेस एंड दैट विल नॉट गिव यू द बेटर रिस्पॉन्स बिकॉज द प्रोसेसिंग विल इंक्रीज द डेटा दैट इट हैज टू चेक विल विल इंक्रीज एज वेल ओके सो इफ यू आर डूइंग द प्रॉम्प्ट इंजीनियरिंग और प्रॉम्प्ट कंस्ट्रक्शन यू नीड टू राइट द ऑप्टिमाइज लेंथ प्रॉम्प्ट ओके बिकॉज इफ यू राइट अ वेरी लॉन्ग प्रॉम्प्ट ओके देन इट हैज टू एक्सेस फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन बट इफ यू राइट अ वेरी शॉर्ट प्रॉम्प्ट विद द प्रॉपर कॉन्टेक्स विद द प्रॉपर थिंग दैट यू रिक्वायर इट विल गिव यू द मोर कंसाइज एंड मोर बेटर इन्फॉर्मेशन इन दैट वे ओके आई होप यू गाइज कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ यू कैन लाइक मेक योर प्रॉम्प्ट अ वेरी ऑप्टिमाइज और हाउ यू कैन यूज द कॉन्टेक्स लर्निंग कॉन्टेक्स लेंथ एंड यू नो अबाउट दैट हाउ it works internally in the large language model by using the retrieval augmented generation technique okay guys so we'll meet in our next video and the next video i will come up with a new topic about the prompt generating and the gen- generative ai just be with it and help me reach this video to the millions of users as well and we we can uh, increase our watch hours to 4000 hours as soon as possible thank guys thank you so much